women die. Which is a good thing, too. You <laughs> said it's hot as balls today. It's freaking hot. What are you doing, truck? I do not understand. You are a dick. I will go around you. Goodbye. Yeah, freaking hot. So swimming couldn't come at a better time right now. Definitely a summer day today. It's not a cold, rainy, I'll tell you that. That is bullshit. Freaking school group there. I left it so late because I thought they'd be done. All the school groups would be done by now. It's like one o'clock. No, they don't leave till three. No, we didn't. We don't have a single lane available for use for pu the public. No swimming today. Let's go check mail. Yay, got to go swimming. And no, there was no mail. I went to a, like a different pool. It was only a, I don't know, five minute drive away. Shittier pool. Cause yeah, <laughs> I can't explain it. Picking a pool is like, it's a personal thing because you want to have a proper amount of privacy. You want to have the ability to actually use a swim lane. Spa and sauna have got to be good. They can't be crappy, but I don't know. I'm just a picky bastard. <laughs> so anyway, oh, drop my phone. Anyway, I went and had my swim, and yeah, now I got to go home. The rest of the today is probably going to be very food um, heavy in the vlog. <laughs> Because I gotta start cooking these recipes. I made a little goal to have 12 recipes up by Christmas. So I want to do 12 recipes in 12 days, starting on the 10th. <coughs> Today's the 6th, so if I start filming now, I can start cracking them out and start editing and get the first ones ready to go. So I, um, a couple of days ago, I asked you guys if there was anything you'd like me to make in particular for the Christmas menu. Pretty much every suggestion or request you guys made, I've taken into account and I will pretty much be making. At least I think. <laughs> I've changed the list so many times because I've got to incorporate like side dishes and then mains. I've got two roasts on the menu and I've got to do desserts and then I've got to do a beverage and things like that. Um, so yeah, if the vlog is a bit um, lacking for the rest of today, it's not my fault because I'm working on Tanner food because I'd make a really, really hard push of it over Christmas and then come New Year's. What? <laughs> We're going to go hard at it. Just called mum to ring up about, um, see how granddad went in his operation. Open up. Yeah, went good. It was a knee reconstruction. I think we told you that though. It was a knee reconstruction and yeah, it went good. <laughs> I said they went there just to visit for like two hours during visiting hours. And, um, <laughs> she said he was pushing the morphine button a bit too hard because <laughs> he was. <laughs> um, yeah, everything went well, so. Speedy recovery! I think they're going to keep him for like four or five days, and then he's got a um, couple of months of physio back at home and things like that. Um, best thing about Nana and Granddad though, because we're coming up to summer at the moment, they have a pool in their backyard, so he'll uh, be able to do um, water physio just to help strengthen his leg without all the pressure of um, basically gravity. <laughs> uh, so yeah, little update for you. Alright, let's see if this eggnog is actually worth it. So we'll get a... we have one of these glasses. Paul's Christmas eggnog. What's got in it? Contains milk and eggs. Well that's pretty much what eggnog is. So. Oh, they've got recipes on the side as well. Here you can convert this eggnog into something else. Alright, I don't know if we have to shake it, but we'll give it a shake. <laughs> Ready? Alright. Smells eggnoggy. Right, let's have a taste. Taste eggnoggy. I can taste nutmeg in there for sure. Yeah, that'll do. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it's only three bucks, so not bad. I'm cooking. I'm just finished a dish, and I came out here to get parsley because I was just like a garnish type thing. 
And I'm looking around, looking around, looking around. I'm like, what the hell? There's a huge parsley bush. Where'd it go? It flowered. Look. How cool is that? So look, if you go down low, you can see all the parsley leaves still. And if you go up high, it all flowered. That's pretty awesome. Living it up tonight, I've got Angus beef burgers and Bundaberg ginger beer. Bom 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 bom. Just waiting for my egg. Egg in the middle! Summer, yes, the eggs did come like that. Look, cage free, natural, blah 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 blah. You can see, look. I don't think it's on all of them though. Oh yeah, it is on all of them, look. Happy eggs! Oh, not that one. That one sucks. Yeah, there we go. Happy egg! <laughs> hmm, predicament. How does that go into my mouth? Ah, mouth not that big. This will be interesting. Eee. Looks good though, doesn't it? Look at that! Boom! Huh. Oh, what the hell? Stupid flip. This keeps coming off! I've had this issue since day one, honestly. I cannot wait until Christmas, because Flip is getting retired. I'm finally going to get a proper camera. One with the wide angle lens, so I don't have to hold my arm all the way out here just to be able to fit me and some background in there. I can hold it at like a bent elbow length and you'll be able to see the same. Ah, man. I don't know what to do with the flip though. I might um use it as like an emergency backup or I'll buy a little case or something and I'll put it in there as like a, a reminder that this is how I started YouTube. <laughs> oh, so busy tonight. Cooking. I did four things. Three completed. One is in the fridge because it has to sit for a certain amount of time period before you can finish it. I did a perla bead thing today. I did the vlog today. I got videos out the wazoo. Now tomorrow finish up one cooking thing. These are all side dishes by the way because I need to get the side dishes ready and uploaded so that when I do um, the actual Christmas stuff like when I put the roast up or something like that I can link to different side dishes that are already uploaded so that you don't just have a roast you can actually pick and choose veggies that you'd like to possibly make. <sighs> Pearl of bead is up. I made the ham taro like well, two weeks ago or something like that. I find that if I make like five or six perla beads in one sitting at the moment, then I'm not rushing every Tuesday to be able to <sighs> searching for something to make that'll look cool and things like that. And then I've just got ones up my sleeve ready to go. So I think that's a good idea. So this weekend I'll have to make a few more because I'm starting to run out again. And yeah. So we're... What's up with you guys? I haven't actually talked to you as properly, like, asked you stuff for ages. I mean, you're getting excited for Christmas? How's your shopping going? I haven't even started mine yet. Although, it's not a big deal because I only really have to buy for four people. Uh, actually, five people. <laughs> Mum, sister, nana, granddad, and pretty much granny. And that's it. So, my shopping life is quite easy every Christmas at the moment because I don't have that many people that I'm super 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 close to that I need to buy for so yeah I mean I got a lot of things in mind plus we've got the Christmas board on the wall out there and mum and sister have been putting presents up for the last week or so so it's gonna be quite easy I mean yeah I'll start this week obviously so that I'm not rushing come last week before the 25th um, but yeah so yeah, if you don't celebrate Christmas see I don't know anybody that really doesn't celebrate Christmas I mean I've got friends that aren't of like Catholic or Christian religion that obviously don't do Christmas but no one really close I mean so what do you guys do if you're not a Christmas celebratory type person? What do you do on the 25th when everyone's having a, like a big lunch or something? Is it just like a normal day for you guys? And if you do celebrate Christmas, what are your plans this year? Um, you having it just at home with close friends or family? Or do you get together in a big like all the family 
cousins and aunts and uncles, the whole thing, or, yeah, just feel free to let me know. Um, what's the day? Today's Tuesday as well. This is the last day. If you'd like a Christmas card from me, um, feel free to send me a YouTube message, leave the title Christmas card, put in the sub, put in the message body itself, your address, don't forget to leave your postcode or zip code, whatever you call it, and your country, and who you want me to make the card out to, whether it be your YouTube username, or whether you'd like it to be to your actual name, just feel free. Um, so yeah, today's your last day. If you like Christmas card, bam. Then in tomorrow's vlog, I'll say it again, and I'll cut it off, no more cards, and then after I put tomorrow's vlog up, I'll reply to everybody so far that's requested a Christmas card, and that'll be about it. So, it's like, I go to bed. The ladies are coming back home tomorrow, so my two days alone coming to a close. The peace and quiet is coming to an end. 